of a mass extinction at this time, I ask you to think of your own children. I am a father of a three-year-old, and I'm worried about the kind of world that my daughter will inherit. Please protect life. Protect the earth. Take your money out of J.P. Morgan Chase or work inside the bank to change the value system of this bank. It's the largest bank in the United States by assets, but it is also the top bank in the world for financing industrial projects which poison the atmosphere with CO2 emissions. Who caused Hurricane Sandy? Chase Bank did if anybody did. Rise up against the corporations that are poisoning the atmosphere. It's up to you and to me. Only we can do it. Somebody give me a change, hallelujah. Change, hallelujah. Somebody give me an earth, hallelujah. Earth, hallelujah. Somebody give me a life, hallelujah. Life, hallelujah. Talk about that action that you engaged in. It was a different action for us. Um, going back across the years, all of our performances inside banks, UBS, Deutsche Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland, HSBC, Bank of America, uh, and many Chase banks, this one was unusual in that we, on purpose, chose an uptown Manhattan bank that we knew to be frequented by people from Wall Street, wealthy people. It's called a wealth management bank. And it had a design where the escalator shot up to the third floor. So our 14 toad, singing toad actors could go right into the center of what we call white people land, where all these people are having hushed conversations about their stock portfolios. So explain the significance of the golden toad. Well, the golden toad um, was driven into extinction 30 years ago in um, Central America, in the mountains. Um, cloud forest ponds where it's habitat. It's a, it's a beautiful, luminescent forest creature called the Alleluia Toad by the indigenous peoples there. And uh, the United Nations, and, and there's a consensus among natural scientists that this is one of the first prominent uh, species to be killed by climate change. You know, <clears throat> Democracy Now! was just broadcasting from Warsaw all last week uh, at the United Nations Climate Change Summit. One of the most powerful leaders there is Christiana Figueres, head of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC. She's from Costa Rica. She recently told KQED the disappearance of the golden toad from Costa Rica had a lasting impression on her. She said, quote, I was about 12 or 13. My parents took me to a rainforest in Costa Rica where there was an endemic golden golden frog that was a beautiful species. By the time I was married and had children, the species of frog had disappeared because of the increasing temperatures caused by climate change. The fact that I have seen the disappearance of a species in my lifetime has left me marked. I now realize the planet I'm leaving to my children is visibly diminished from the planet I inherited. Oh. Your thoughts, Reverend Billy? I'm, I'm listening to you, and I'm, I'm hoping that there's a way that we can be marked by the extinction in the world. The extinction wave is real, and the financing of the extinction wave by people who profit from it is real. But we don't—we're um, so consumerized, something's wrong with us. We don't have any fight or flight. We'd, we're not responding. The natural scientists have a consensus. They're telling us we're in grave danger. When other life dies, uh, we die as well. I think we're taught by, I don't know, the Industrial Revolution, Enlightenment, capitalism. We're taught that the human species can exist alone. Uh, but um, Dr. E. O. Wilson, kind of the, the leader of the extinction uh, experts in the world, uh, biology teacher up, in, up at Harvard, I mean, they all say, no, that, that's not possible. If the biosphere uh, becomes damaged on a certain level, we suffer damage, too. And what is it—how is it that J.P. Morgan Chase, the bank that you targeted, how is it that they're involved in climate change, exacerbating climate change? Our research has it that J.P. Morgan Chase is the top financier of climate change in the world. Its investments put more CO2 and nitrous oxide 
and methane into the atmosphere than any other single investor. Of course, they're traditionally a fossil fuel bank. They, they come to us from Standard Oil. Uh, they've always been a fossil fuel bank. The trouble is they continue to be. But now, like all the corporations, they pour hundreds of millions of dollars into greenwashing advertising. We're, we're led to believe that they're, they have a, a neutral uh, uh, carbon footprint and, and that they're, you know, we're, we're subject to their, to their propaganda. Reverend Billy, in the last minute we have with you, if you could share with us a pre-Thanksgiving sermon in this period where, well, it will soon be decided whether or not you go to jail. I just want to ask, this thing that we share here at this table, that the people in the studio audience have, the people, people watching us right now, we share this amazing, unexplained thing called life. I just want to pray to life. Life, hallelujah. May we respect the life in others. May we respect life in the species, the plants, the animals that we share this, this beautiful planet with. May we, we, may we respect the lives of the workers who are serving us with this, this strange convenience, these products that we're addicted to this Black Friday weekend. We can't afford to force life into an other category anymore. We're all life together. Earth, hallelujah.